<laughs> Perfect. Uh, for the bingo card, uh, there wasn't anyone decided, like, as a main point of contact, but besides the bingo prizes, all we were just going to reuse the squares that we had last time, so, like, no other deliverables are needed for it besides prizes. Well, I do, so... I remember that we still had plenty of cards in the template, so like getting the cards there wasn't going to be an issue. I think the big thing is having one or two people on site during the social to kind of promote it and go around. Now, I think that would be fine if we just divvy that up against like staff to promote the bingo cards, but I also don't want to like just blanket say, hey, we're all going to promote bingo. I, I have concerns. So I do I do think we should find someone to be the point person. And if someone wants to step up, that would be awesome. If not, then I mean I'll I'll just I'll just point point at someone and say, please do this. <laughs> um I can I give my updates real quick because I have to jump on another call. Absolutely. Uh for the young conference. Okay, okay. great. Um, we d we did find an app that is very promising. What will happen is we will uh, myself, uh, Beneath, and Piyush will walk around with clipboards the night of the uh, event on Sunday. Uh, get everybody's topic. The app is called Poll Anywhere or Poll Everywhere. Um, it does do live polling as we get the topics we will add them to the app um everyone will, will be able to do live live polling straight from the app and it'll tally the next morning we'll get all that done but it seems like uh you know it's, it's way better in carrying and pushing around that whiteboard um there will be a link that we'll need to post uh somewhere so that uh, people know where to poll at and vote from um uh, uh yeah and re re really that's about it i think that's the best way to go are there any concerns are there any opinions about my, going this way my only i love going this way my only concern is we're going to have to make sure that we push that link on everyone possible to get them to vote because i do think more people are likely to vote if it's just a simple use your phone look at the thing press the button but we need to make sure we yep. get them to look at their phone and press the button right 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 so uh, at this event are we going to have a uh, on the event sunday are we going to have a large screen like we had last last year or at, uh, at San that Diego? is a that is a deb question because i don't know the social venue well uh no they don't have one built in like that this time but we do have so a no... whiteboard, correct? We will have magic whiteboard. Because we uh, could... I can... whiteboard. Okay, because I was thinking, like, the original whole unconference workflow is we walk around with the board and say, please sign up. If, if we, right. we have a giant whiteboard, we can just put the link on the whiteboard and then, like, as part of the like evening's announcements, hey, by the way, this is how we're doing the unconference this year or this EU. Here's the link. It's on the whiteboard. Please go do the thing, and then we'll also do that during the uh, announcements in the morning. So I have an idea with that. Uh, let, let me let me just get this idea real quick. Go ahead. Uh, we can use the URL shortener go.kate.io. So we can literally do go.kate.io slash unconference. Yeah, I was going to actually suggest that because we we have to print out the cards for the bingo anyways maybe we do something like if you finished your bingo and want to submit an unconference session here's a qr code and they could just grab the or just a, the short url the go url but if we printed it on the bingo cards that would give us i don't know maybe additional promotion to encourage people to do it i have a yeah question. absolutely and, and, and like i said we're gonna have to walk around with clipboards and we're still going to have to solicit uh topics from everyone and then we will add those to the poll in the app and then live voting will begin uh yeah almost immediately as long as everyone downloads the poll everywhere at all right we uh, can Mark also send an email out overnight 
to everyone in the active track and oh. says, like, vote now before you show up. I like that. that is a great idea. Yep. Marky, you were going to say something? Does the venue have Wi-Fi, Deb? Yes. Okay. It may, if you do send out a communication, it may be worth noting the Wi-Fi information ahead of time. That way, nobody is on their phone and incurring any type of international charge and then be like, nobody told me. I can fully see that happening. Yeah, we're going to try to get it to be the same as the rye, so it should be printed on everyone's badge. I can't guarantee it right now, but that's the goal. That is a good goal to have. So, quick, quick thing on pull everywhere. Maybe, maybe, used... maybe, maybe, maybe we also print the short link to the poll on the badges on the back. Could we do that? These are the KubeCon, these are KubeCon badges, so we can't touch the badge, sorry. Okay, okay. All right. So just as a quick thing, like I've used poll everywhere. You don't actually need to download the app to do it. You can just go to a website. And That's you can also SMS your, you can also SMS your vote uh there, there, there's there's several ways uh that people can vote and not just you know download the app and click the link or whatever all right yeah anyway I, that's I do all I think had. you just i do think you need to just be clear uh with people if they're doing the sms international charges i do see that this pull, pull anywhere has some verbiage for that. So if a communication goes out beforehand, it may be beneficial to have either a link to that upstream communication, just so we're, people are know that they have, that they're fully aware. Sure, sure. Duly noted. Okay, that's all I had. Um, uh, I, I, I don't have the internet here at the hotel sucks, so I can't update my notes on the uh, worksheet. No, if we got someone you. Could please. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, I gotta I gotta drop off for another call. Hey, ladies and guys, um, appreciate all your help. You're all awesome. Love working with you, and I will chat with you all next week. Thank you, Cody. See you later. All right, have a good have a good day. All right, contact switch back to Deb. Okay, so we were talking about bingo cards. Yep. Um, I just need to know who to work with on prizes because we have a shipment received deadline with the venue and I need prizes finalized by Monday. Okay. Um, prizes wise, that'll just be um, Dom, Bob, and I. So we can, we can take that and figure that out. Uh, okay. Day, sorry, uh, finish your update and then I'll do my thought. Uh, and then the other thing that I had was an on-site venue walkthrough on Sunday. I was recommending 3 p.m. If there are any objections to that, let me know. Otherwise, I will send a calendar invite. I have zero objections from my end. Does anyone have any thoughts on that? Sounds good to me. That seemed pretty kind of uh standard. All right, if you want to be added to the invite, just ping me on Slack and I'll, uh, with your email address and I'll add you to it. All right, thank you. Thanks. Oh, sweet. Thank you, George. Um, so bingo wise, I do think even though like we have the cards and it's somewhat hands off, we should at least kind of promote it a little bit, whether that's you know, some of us walking around with bingo cards, handing them out and saying, hey, participate. Or it's just part of an announcement. I, I would like thoughts and opinions because I have my opinion, but I don't I think like going off my opinion. <laughs> I think it's worth having somebody coordinated on the night of the event so that we have somebody, so we have somebody running it. We have somebody pushing the bingo. We have them collecting the cards. We have them doing the draw for the prizes so that we have one person kind of coordinating the whole thing and maybe recruiting some volunteers to help out with, you know, passing them out and doing some of the work. So my initial thought was that Carlos 
and like day of ops, that would be a decent thing for them to do during the social because the social is usually fairly hands off. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have thoughts on that? Otherwise, I'm just going to roll with it. I'm a plus one on that. Sweet. Sounds good. All right. Then I'll write a note on that and then stop talking. <laughs> Uh, actually, uh, next up would be Nabrun with Reg. Hi, everyone. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, so registration-wise, we have around 280 registrants as of now, total, across all tracks. Uh, we are 80% full on uh, active track, and there are a lot of pending ones. So mostly we would be full by next week end. Uh, that's what I'm predicting or maybe before. Uh, on the new contributor workshop side, so right now we are waitlisting participants and we are nearly capacity. So I think this week we will be uh, like reaching capacity uh, when we consider the waitlisted participants also. Uh, the concern I'm having right now is uh, we don't have any diversity registrations yet. Uh, I confirmed that with Deb. And uh, I have allocated a big chunk to diversity and our wait list of existing uh, new contributor registrations is growing. Uh, so like we can uh, reduce our expectations a bit, but the problem would be if we get registrations in bulk next week, then we might not be able to uh, accommodate everyone on the diversity registration side. Uh, so I wanted opinions uh, from everyone here. I guess that dovetails into sort of uh, the DNI update, which is we have sent an uh, we've sent a draft email to Wendy, uh, Wendy West at the CNCF. So we're hoping that email gets sent out today. Uh, that is going to the diversity. Uh, individuals from the CNCF scholarship. So I, I expect that by this week, there will be more DNI registrations. When, uh, Nabrin, when you said that you've uh, dedicated a chunk, how, about how many have you dedicated to DNI? Uh, so we thought of 50 DNI registrations uh, with like a 80 20 split between 101 and 201. So around like uh, 40, 10 kind of split. That, that's what I'm expecting. Or maybe a 35, uh, 25 split. Okay. Uh, yeah. So one concern I had was I went through the diversity scholarship uh, participants, what they're getting. So uh, apparently they got one free day zero co-located event pass also. Uh, so I don't know how many would register. I wouldn't change the number for DNI yet. I think by okay. next Monday, we'll have a better we'll have a better understanding. Uh, I've sent an email uh, to Wendy West this morning. With, uh, Kim, you were CC'd on that to let us know when she sends out that email because that's what we're waiting on. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Hey, and that is my update as well, and Kim's. Hey, Mark. Hey. Just based on experience of working with the DNI recipients, um, the most important thing is going to be the Slack. So she may send that email, but they have a private Slack channel. And that's where in the past when we've done programs for these recipients, the Slack is what gets the most response. Yeah. Uh, Kim has also yeah, sent an email to Kim. Uh, to see me. Kim has sent an email to Wendy, not to herself, not to herself. And, <laughs> and, and also asked, uh, for uh, the same uh, draft to be put in the Slack. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, Amanda, I basically forwarded your email and I'll follow up with Wendy. I'll see if I'll get an answer from her while we're still on the call. Cool. Sweet. Uh, that's, all on, that's all on my side from registrations. Any questions, comments, or concerns? None passed. Well, for me, none passed what you've said, but I think things are still on track. Cool. Uh, 
Ba, ba, ba. So let's pop back down to comms. Um, cool. So we just went over the DNI stuff. So we got all that stuff done. All the schedule, the tweets, um, the postings, the KDEV blog, all that was posted um, last week. Um, we had the people, um, Jesse at CNCF was on the lookout. So that went a lot better. And I feel like Boston set up um, better now because of all the things that we just did. So that's good. The KDEV email went out a little late because we had just... Uh, things we had, happen. We had some communication things go a little weird and we had life, life got in the way a little. Um, so that went out and all that is um, done right now. Um, so we're looking good on that. I did wrap back with just the registrations. It looks like everything's really on track and we don't need unless somebody tells me differently, it doesn't sound like we need another big push or anything like that. It looks like this is just going to fill. I personally would want like one more reminder email that goes out like in two weeks or three weeks. I would have to look at my calendar. Pretty much like equidistant between now and day of. Just mainly so that people, it, it's not to try and generate registrations. It's actually to get people to look at the schedule again and make sure they know what they want. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just meant no for before you go. Next yeah, the no before you be, go. Yeah, the next yeah. set will be no before you go, not like pushing people to get registrations and all that. So we'll start working um, on that probably later this week just to get that going. So that will go out um, before to make sure everybody has all the information. Um, it's not just to the people that signed up to like once uh, they're populated into Sketch. We can send the note before you go after we add everyone to sketch so that they can go in there and set up their schedule. Okay, cool. And how long does, or like what week of the month are you? Like um, when? I, like we can start putting them in sketch now since we don't have that much, you know, time left. Um, I think the last time we did the note before you go was the week before. The last time was the week before, um, and I almost wonder if that's too late, like if people are already traveling at that point. So it's a question out to the team. Let's do it at scale. We're all there. Let's just sit around a table. I'm serious. And just bust it out, and then we'll just send it that, that night or something. That'll give people like two, two and a half weeks. I actually like this idea. Okay, let's rock and roll on that. I mean, I'm always a fan of more communication sooner anyways. That's what I was thinking so too. I was like a week before, like I'm already inundated with like so much stuff and like, and travel. Yep. Okay. So we'll bust that out um, before and it looks like we'll just get that done over at scale um, and out the door. So the only thing that we would be dependent on is making sure um, as the DNI folks get in there within the next week, just making sure Sketch gets updated with those people. So we're not missing anybody. Um, and then the last thing is I am having to cancel my Amsterdam trip. Um, CNCF events did send out a notice that there will be peanuts. Um, and I have an airborne allergy. So I will not be there. So if we need any backup or anything, um, I am able to get people um, in to help. Um, so just dependent on what the team needs, we can definitely pull, pull in people as, as we need. And that is it. You will be missed, but seriously, thank you for kicking so much butt. You've done a lot. I'm sorry, you will not be in Amsterdam. Yeah, it stinks a little. Yeah. But we'll have scale. We'll have Write scale. Email. We'll have email, like our last hurrah, and then we'll take a picture. We'll take a take picture. Okay. We'll all have scale together. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you. Um, next up is NCW. I don't think Rail is on, and I know Allison said that she would not be around, uh, but she did put an update in Summit staff. Uh, content proposal is ready for input into Sketch. I actually thought that that was started already, but. That should be done, I yeah. think. I thought so as well. Glenn, Glenn poked me about that like immediately and we, we powered through adding that to sketch. Yep. Um, 
the other thing, Allison has started assigning sections of the NCW to various people to present, and that informs the final part, which is slide work has begun. So that is all shaping up really well. And I like the fact that this is this far in advance. So I think NCW is going to be really good. Does anyone have any thoughts or questions? All right. Next up is meet and greet. Yep, uh, quick update here. We've gotten 19 responses so far. Uh, this week, me and Jason, we're gonna get started on bugging the missing uh, SIGs and working groups. So, so far we have 10 SIGs signed up, um, 12 missing, and we have six working groups signed up, five missing. Now I've identified the, the ones that are missing. It's in a thread in the Summit staff channel. So we're gonna start working on those this week and uh, make sure they get signed up. I, of I, course, no one from Contributor Experience has signed up because we'll all be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, that, I'm gonna take up like four tables, right? Oh, easily, easily. <laughs> Thank you. Um, any concerns or questions for meet and greet? All right. Um, Cody already gave unconference. Was there any other DNI stuff? Yeah, there was one more thing. Uh, when, uh, Kim will be boots on the ground, uh, so she will be leading the effort in Amsterdam in physical presence. I will not be there. Uh, so that's that. You will also be missed, Marky. I'll have to give you a hug next time I see you. Thank you. I was going to give you a hug anyways next time I saw you. So. <laughs> totally down for hugs. Approved hugs, of course. Approved hugs. Approved hugs. Yes. Um, other than that, uh, is there anything else anyone has on their mind? Thoughts? Have we missed anything? All right. And I will always ask, have we not talked about something that we should, that we don't want to? All right. Sweet. I'll give you all a half hour back. Thank you. It feels like we have done a lot in a short amount of time, and I think things are really coming together. <gasps> Peace. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Thanks, everyone.